Hello everyone, welcome back to Master Reboot. You know, looking up here at this incredibly beautiful world, and listening to this music is making me extremely depressed. It's a beautiful world, but the music, oh, makes it so depressing. Oh, it's coming back, the music. I need to go to a memory. Must get to a memory. Get away from the depressing music. Okay, so I just did the beach. Now it's time to do... Hospital memory. This can't be good. There's usually no good reason to go to a hospital. Or, no, that's... Let me restate that. There's no happy reason to go to a hospital for the most part. There is a good reason to go to it. Like, for example, if you are dying. That's a pretty good reason to go to the hospital. Ducky! Hi, Saren. I see you over there. Hi! Oh, you're in the waiting room, aren't you? I know. Yeah, it can be really long waiting times. Sucks. Oh. <laughs> Great. All right, so this is going to be the uh, the hospital horror memory. Is it? It's watching me, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell was that? Awkward sound effect that awkwardly stopped. <laughs> look at the duck. It looks at you the more you're looking at it. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Can't help but notice that the hallway's sideways a little bit, a little bit tilted. Is that a guardian angel watching over someone, or is that someone dying and going to heaven on a cloud of ones and zeros? Binary propulsion. All right. Let's see what wonderful message awaits us now. Do you fear death? No, not really. I'm, I seem to be immortal. Because I'm kind of in the soul cloud, so not so much. Oh, someone's walking. Somewhere. Okay, so I need to do four things to open it. Got it. Got a bunch of uh, mini puzzles again. The hell is that noise? I see a faint light. Oh, it's a duck. Come here. Get well soon. Please don't leave me. I can't live without you. Kelly. Hmm. What is that? Whoa. Well, it worked. Oh, where'd you go? I wanted to give Sarah a hug. She seems so unhappy. Alright, so when is something going to jump out of my face? Do you think now's the time when she's going to be hiding in a trash can? And just pop out? That's not a good color.
Alright, at this point, I'm pretty much completely lost track of where I'm at. What the? Why did the bed just move? Okay. Detective achievement. <laughs> Why, thank you. Certified copy of an entry. Death. Oh, it's a death certificate, I guess. Mm, district. Date and place of birth. Uh, yeah, we're definitely definitely talking about the future here. 26th of October, 2024. Mm, female. Astrid Patterson. That's, I think, me. Hmm. Date and place of birth and date and place of death are the same. Banner Hospital. 24 years apart, so it's about 24 years old. Occupation and usual address. Cloud Programmer. Mystery Foundation. Mm-hmm. So she did get hired, of course. Name and surname of informant. Informant? What? Scott Jones. Qualifications, PhD Forensics. Hmm. Cause of death, leukemia and infection. Leukemia and infection? Huh. Hey, Saren. I just want to give her a hug. I think it. <laughs> Why does the sound effect just cut off before it's even finished playing? Uh, anyway, there's one more. Uh, did I just come from here? No. Banner Hospital. Vale of Glamorgan, Wales. Medical record. Mm hmm. Miss... Madison Jones. Female. Born in 1997. Welsh. Alright, patient is in and out of consciousness. Critical condition. Surgery prep. Satisfactory? I think it says. And then a day later. Surgery deemed successful. See notes. Patient stabilizing. One day later. Cardiac arrest. Vital sign lost approximately three... Lost approximately three minutes. CPR administered. Patient is stable but comatose state. Now I'm trying to remember. Madison Jones, that's the one... That's the person who's marrying... Or married. Uh, David, right? Was that Madison Jones? Because it's Astrid and Callie who are the twins. And I think I'm probably Astrid, I think. Jeez, this place is a maze. I think I just viewed this one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going around a circle. Alright, one more. One more. Just win here. up in here. What is that up there? Oh, let me guess. Saren's going to be hiding one of these, right? Are they going to do the locker thing again? Seriously? They're doing the locker thing again. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe they did that again. Really? Really? Anyway, let's go. There's no shame in getting help, M. So that's from Madison. John Rowlands, or Rollins, I repronounce that, certified psychotherapist. I provide professional help in a relaxed and safe environment, and have experience in dealing with not only complex emotional issues, but also day-to-day -day problems. Call today for a free consultation. 0749... Yeah. Hmm. No shame in getting help. That's from Madison. Or from someone named M, which should be Madison, right? I mean, Callie Patterson. Astrid Patterson. Yeah, it's the only M we've seen so far. Madison Jones. So who's it that needs help? 
Maybe whoever it was, like... Remember the beach memory where I saw every... Where I kept seeing pictures where... Like, that one... I don't know who she is, but the one woman who... Like, pasted her picture... Her face... On Madison's face? In the photo of... Of, uh, David... And Madison? Kinda acting creepy and she didn't seem very happy. And she's the one that has the tattoo... Of that pink symbol I keep seeing on... On every level. Maybe she's the one that needs help. different colors on each yeah yellow red okay it looks like this one's supposed to be red so let's keep turning it one more time should do it there we go that tree. Beautiful. Oh, I think I broke it. Yeah, let me put it back in place. Although I'm sure the fact that I can actually change this means I probably have to. But I like the pretty lasers. Oh, we can actually fall into this. Look at it. Whoa. That hurts my head to look at. Ow. I thought that I was learning how to live. I have been learning how to die. Huh. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's Astrid referring to the cloud. I thought I was learning how to live. Because she was a programmer for the cloud, she was developing it. She's learning how to make people like live forever, kind of. But I've been learning how to die. Maybe, or it could refer to anything else. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, there's one out there. Oh, I see. I can't reach that one. So what I need to do is get... I need to modify this so that blue is going over there, and then I need to modify the rest to fit it. Okay, I got it. There's gotta be ducks somewhere around here. I saw... I know there's a duck over there. I see you, duck. I see a couple pixels of blue, and it can't be anything but a duck. But there's gotta be one over here. I look down these rows. It's gotta be hiding. On or... Under, I guess. One of these things. A 
There's gotta be one here. Come on. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm not sure if sprinting through them is the best way to find it. Oh well. Alright, let's move this old blues over there. One more. Yellow. That's what I thought I would do, because otherwise there'd be no way to get the duck out there. Of course, I wouldn't put it above the ducks to troll me. Oh, look at that. Even the distortion from this glass or whatever it is moves almost as if it's liquid. Oh, that's not a duck. It's a block. Aw, now I'm disappointed. Oh, well. is happening. Seems like every time I unlock a memory, or at least sometimes when I unlock more memories, like something, I don't know, something's getting closer, something's trying to break through, something's becoming unstable, I'm not sure. Are those bits from the memories that just keep floating about? After I do more memories, like more fragments are coming out. I mean, there's benches, there's a car, there's the teddy bear. What's this? Balls, I guess? Hmm. Alright, well, it looks like the last three have been unlocked. Circus memory. Graveyard memory and library. Let's go to the circus.
Wait, did I go to the graveyard? This doesn't look like the circus. Hold on, is this the graveyard? That didn't seem like the circus. Alright, this is definitely the circus. No, it's the circus. No fun in games for me, I guess. Was that the door appearing, or was it always here? Ah, just look at all the light filtering through the trees. I can even hear a distant dog barking. Must be people nearby. And there's something over there. Looks like an orb. Have you got what it takes? Why not join our growing family? Opportunities available in programming, human resources, cloud architecture, hub design, memory management, soul cloud maintenance, and many more. And the top rise is they never told us about the four-hour time limit. We lost two recruits last week. Wait, what? The four-hour time limit for what? Lost recruits? What do you mean lost? Like, dead? Fine, run across my screen. I'm okay with that. Looks like I'm collecting beads. I think I need two more. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Come, come down here. Fine, or don't. Mushrooms. Right, so I'm on a gigantic orb bead hunt. My favorite. I was trained for this. I'm guessing that sound is supposed to indicate there's someone around me, but I don't care. Ooh. Pretty. Even the creepy footsteps can't take away the, be the beauty of this moment. This scene. Look at that. Sparklies. I want to touch them. Oh, come on. It's stuck between the trees. <laughs> that makes no sense. She obviously wants to kill me because that's what she's done in the past, right? She runs up to you and then she kills you or takes you out or whatever the hell she does. So she was right next to me. Why did she run off? Does she want to kill me or not? Like, if I was actually in danger, she would have tried to kill me. She didn't, so apparently I'm not even in danger. That's why I find it so strange that the game is trying to scare me. It's completely ineffective. Because I know I'm not in danger. It is so silly. Ooh, can I climb up this? Oh god, I can. <laughs> I can? Uh... Am I supposed to be here? What have I done? I, am I supposed to be here? I guess it's fine. Where's the door I'm actually unlocking though? Is it like here? A 
It is. Okay, so. So I can just go around it. I'm just unlocking to get inside of it. Whoa. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Tragedy at Fairground. A day at the fair ended in tragedy yesterday when David Ree, famous as co-founder of the Mystery Foundation, was killed in a shocking attack in a crowded area of Matt O'Connell's fairground. Ree was stabbed in the lower abdomen by a hooded assailant and later died en route to hospital. The attacker was revealed to be Kelly Patterson. Uh, Kelly Patterson. 28. Oh, that's my twin. That's who that is. Patterson is believed to have a history of mental illness and was arrested at the scene. That must be who um, Madison was talking to. And that note talking about, you know, there's no shame in getting help or whatever she said exactly. One source states that Patterson was driven by revenge, targeting Rhea after her sister's soul was lost in the recent Soul Cloud crash. In the recent... Uh, Astra Patterson was heavily involved in the Soul Cloud's creation and was a close friend of both Rhea and his partner, Madison Jones. She died tragically four years ago from leukemia, leaving Callie as the only surviving member of the Patterson family. Jones, CEO of Mystery and creator of the Soul Cloud, was present at the scene and was unavailable for comment last night. And then under the picture, Callie Patterson is arrested by police. The young artist, 28, is believed to have a history of mental illness. Yeah. Okay, there's a ton of details here. Let me try to pick it apart. Okay, so the message I saw in the, in the hospital from... Madison was talking to Callie Patterson, who is Astrid's twin. Saying you need to get help, or there's no shame in getting help. And... Uh, Callie Patterson did seem to be very jealous of Madison, I think. Because of her face being pasted on Madison's face in the picture of Madison and... And, uh... Rhee. Yeah. Okay, and then there's a lot more here. Let's see. Targeting Rhee after her sister's soul was lost in the recent Soul Cloud crash. Astrid Patterson was heavily involved. Let's see. Yeah, so... Astrid, who's... Again, I'm assuming I'm Astrid, so I'm just gonna say me. I was... Involved in the creation of the Soul Cloud, of course. A programmer. And then... Astrid died from leukemia, which fits the stuff I found in the hospital. Leukemia and... what was the other one? Leukemia and... Uh, I don't remember what the other one was. But yeah, basically leukemia. And then apparently my soul was uploaded to the soul cloud. And then in the soul cloud crash, my soul was lost. Although apparently not completely, because I'm still here. However, everything seems to be broken. So I guess right now I'm just navigating around in the broken soul cloud. And that set Callie off, and she wanted revenge, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well that actually clears up a lot of things. It certainly doesn't explain everything that's happening. But it clears up a lot. Alright, let's go look at this uplifting message. I have taken someone dear to you. Your lost soul is in the digital ashes of dead bodies. All digital hell surrounds you, and I will suffocate you in it. Hold on, I've taken someone dear to you. I've taken someone dear to you. Who... Who would that be? I've taken someone dear to you. Hold on, Madison is still alive, right? Let me read this again. Yeah, I believe Madison is still alive. Kelly was arrested. Astrid died a while ago. Ree was killed in the attack. It almost seems like this message, I've taken someone dear to you, is referring to Madison. I've taken someone dear to you. It's almost like it's... It's Callie 
talking to Madison, saying that I took David Ree. Hmm. Anyway. Let's look for the third B. Uh, B. The third bead. I want to go up here again, though. Such a good view. Yeah. More sparklies. Oh, hi. Bye. There we go. Oh, what the hell? I thought that was a cutscene, but I was just stuck to the outside of this thing. Look at this, if you touch it, you get stuck to it. Hey! Bye! I'm coming back for you. Just give me a minute, duck. There you are again. David, subject crossed out. Is an in... Complete specimen. Kind of hard to read for me. Data, no... What? Data, no something is uncertain. Subject, blah, 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 crossed out. I do not know if I have enough data to upload David to the Soul Cloud, but I must try. I must save David. I'm assuming that's Madison talking, trying to upload David. Maybe I am Madison. Maybe I am Madison. Hmm. Well, I found all the beads, or orbs, but I wonder if there's any more ducks. Got stuck in the trees for a second. Eh. I mean, I looked on top of this. On top of the... On top of the big tent. And didn't see anything of note that I haven't already been to, so probably not. Let's just go inside. I have a flashlight on, but I don't. I think it's some sort of weird specular lighting. Whoa. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. This is so disorienting. Like, if you look down... Oh, this is so strange. If you look down, it almost looks as if you're still and everything's just moving in front of you. Kind of. But if you look up, it becomes immediately obvious what's happening. This is so strange. Whoops. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. Okay, I made it. Wow. That that is really, really cool. Looks like there's an entrance down there or something. Can I get down there? I don't think so. It just respawns you if you fall.
Yeah, there's a lot more stuff popping up here. My hub is getting populated with fragments of my other memories. Looks like there's two more to go. Let's go to the graveyard. No surprise, even the graveyard's beautiful. Look at that graveyard fog, hugging the ground. Now it's wet, wet footsteps. I guess it does look pretty wet. Muddy. Yeah. Who the hell would want to live here? I mean, it's a nice looking house, but I wouldn't want to live in a graveyard. No thanks. Mm, another death? Oh yeah, another death certificate. This one's for David. This one's for David Ree. Place of death in transit to Banner Hospital. Mail, David Ree. Mm-hmm. Interesting, he was also born at Banner Hospital. Director of the Mystery Foundation. Mm hmm. Cause of death single stab wound, shock, heart attack. Look at that glowing duck. Offered up as a gift from this rather creepy hooded angel thing. What do you bet Saren's gonna pop out of one of these... one of these caskets? She'll be like, oh my god, I'm gonna strangle you! And you'll be all like, no, you're not! And you mash E and then, and then it goes away. Uh-oh. Symbols. I smell a puzzle. <laughs> and it doesn't smell good. It smells like frustration. It smells like symbol interpretation. What is up with this door? Strange. It looks like someone's scanning it with a barcode reader. I can even see inside. It's a torch. Oh, look at that! The rays! The rays! I was underwater for a second. I'm just kind of under the fog. It looks almost like water. Looks like I what need something to offer it. Need an offering that I don't have. All right, let's go up to the house. Oh, I guess I need to bottle those blue things. The blue clouds. Oh, here we go. What uplifting message do you have for us today? 
In truth, we are beings of spirit and not flesh. But I will take both from you. Okay, great. You have no arms. You also have no face. It's been bashed in, it looks like. Yeah, it kind of fell off on the ground. That sucks. Man, I don't even need to stop running to gather these. Can you get these right? No. Gotta be blue. Okay, two more. One more. Where are you? Let me guess, the last one's going to be really, really difficult. It's got to be behind something. Behind one of the buildings, or maybe inside of something that I need to open. Like that boarded over one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I see it. Yeah, I see it. I have an offering for you. Here you go. <laughs> I guess I'm going to be smashing them down. Let's go. That is a very poor sound effect. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Can I just infinitely do this? Okay, then. Well, I'm just going to do this for the next 10 minutes of the game. Maybe I should back up. Kind of loses its scariness after the the tenth or maybe the twentieth time. What are you even reaching for? There's nothing there. In loving memory, Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow, die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me. I have no idea what that means. I think I'd have to read it ten times to figure it out. I mean, okay, I, I get the, I get the overall picture of it, of course. <laughs> oh god, another one. The overall picture is obviously screw you, death. That's and that's pretty much it. Really? <laughs> what the hell? Can you even can you even like kill me? Can you even do anything to? You can't even do anything to me. Why should I be scared of you? The game seems to desperately want me to be scared of you, but why? Why would I be scared of you? Symbols. I need that for something. Oh, 
Well, I don't know who's making that noise. Listen to that sound. Like, it sounds like, like an animal or something. Is that me? It doesn't even sound human. Probably can't bash these up. No, can't. Gotta go for these. Oh, that one needs an axe. You know, you don't need an axe to bash down wood. You could do it with a sledgehammer. But anyway. Okay, thank God this one. Well, you know, maybe she's gonna come out of the casket, so. Maybe there will be one in here. <coughs> Reporting officer, narrative. Reporting officer, our onions. <laughs> what? Our onions. You have an amazing last name. Alright, original narrative. Never heard that term before. Interesting. Looks like a police report or something. Arrived at the scene of the assault at 7.31 p.m. The scene in question is a local amusement park called Mad O'Connell's. It is important... It is important mention at the stage of my current report that the surrounding area is extremely busy, and because of this, some evidence may have been tampered with. Park security has been informed and they are presently sweeping the area. The assault has been committed against a Caucasian male, early 30s, medium build and height. The weapon used against the victim appears to have been a sharp pointed implement, most probably a knife. The weapon has penetrated his lower abdomen on the victim's left hand side and has caused massive bleeding. The weapon at this stage is still unknown, however the suspect has been apprehended by park security who at this point are handing them over to my colleagues. The victim has been taken by ambulance to local medi uh, medical facility for emergency treatment. His condition is currently unknown. I've been ordered to maintain a perimeter around the scene until senior staff and forensics arrive. Yeah, man, trying to deal with a crime scene in a crowded public place. That's gotta be a nightmare. Alright, gotta bash down some more stuff. Hi, Saren. Where's left to bash down? Hmm. Nowhere? I don't think there's anything left to break. It's not working, is it? Wait, what is that? Use. Wait, what? Uh. Oh. Wait, I thought... I thought the symbol said you needed an axe. Is that just a generic symbol? I think it might just be a generic symbol for just bashing something with a weapon. Okay, never mind. Oh, I gotta get you, higher board. I can't reach it. Damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. The hell's up with this one? It can't even be moved. Looks like it's frozen. Interesting. I don't see a pattern to what numbers are on here. Alright, so this one's stuck at 7, so I'm going to assume that that means that the first one is definitely 7. So I guess it kind of gives you a starting point. Alright, so let's write down the possible combinations here. So, first one is 7. Second one can be 6. 8. 3 and 1. 
All right. Third one can be two. Or five. Or six. Or four. This one can be two. Eight. Seven. Or three. All right, now I know my selections to choose from, but the question is, what do I set it to? Okay, so I need to set it to that, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might be difficult. All right, let me let me go back to the thing I saw in here, which may or may not be related. Hmm. It obviously contains the same sort of symbols. There were no other tablets, were there? No. Fuck off. I'm trying to make sense of this. So many V's and I's and X's. Why? Almost seems like a Roman numerals of some sort, but... Hmm... I'm not really sure what's going on here. I'm reading this a bunch of different ways and I don't get it. Alright, well let me work on this for a bit, and when I make some progress, I will be right back. Okay, I just... got it. Um, I would explain how I got it, but the problem is I didn't actually quite figure it out. I think I was on the right track, but I wasn't quite there. So I put them all into the right place, and I just started rotating each one all the way around to see if maybe I was just off with the translation of one. And I think I was, so hold on, I thought... The one I just did, then I made four, and that was the correct answer. I thought it was six. Let me see if I can figure out why, because if I can, then maybe I could actually explain this. Hmm. Not really. How would that be for? I don't know. I guess I don't quite know how Roman numerals work very well. But basically, let me trigger this. Oh my god. Basically, what appears to be going on is that... You look at whichever one is pointing to the Roman numerals, and that's the number that's associated with it. So, for example, I'm enter the menu here so I can actually point. This symbol here corresponds to the 7 on the thing I just did. The one that's frozen in place, so you know that this symbol means seven. So I was trying to figure out, okay, so how do you know? Like, um, you know, what what around that would tell you that that thing's seven? We know it's seven, but what around would tell you that? And if you look, look at where it's pointing. It's pointing up. That's IIV, which, unless I'm totally wrong with Roman numerals, is, well, seven. Because V is five, right? And then the I's are ones. And an X is ten. So that, okay, if that's true, then I just looked at the next symbol and looked at where it was pointing and looked at the Roman numerals and did all of that. And apparently I was correct, except for this one right here. This symbol here, I thought meant six. Because it's V and then I. I thought that's six, but apparently it's four. I, 
I don't know why, but the important part is it's done. Uh, oh, I was about to say there's nothing in here. Wonderful. Now I'm trapped. I knew she was in one of those damn things. What the hell? Oh, zombie sirens. That can't be good. I didn't know there was that many. Are they behind me? Oh! Mm, yeah, they're behind me. I want to look behind me, but that would be stupid, so let's not. Alright, I'm fine. Surprise! Another Saren. Wait a minute, we've been here before. Yeah. I've been here before. Ah, oh God, look at that. Whoa. There's more gravestones. I don't even know what that just showed. David Reed, David Reed, David Reed, David Reed. Uh, they all say different things on them, aside from the name. 1997 to 2028. The life of the dead is placed in the memory of the living. No date. It seems to me most strange that men should fear. Seeing that death, a, ne a necessary end, will come when it will come. <laughs> Though they sink through the sea, they shall rise again. Though lovers be lost, love shall not, and death have no dominion. There is but one freedom, to put oneself right with death. After that, everything is possible. God, look at that. It's practically a wallpaper right here, if I could frame it a bit better. Actually, maybe... Hmm. Ooh. Is that a wallpaper? Get, get out of there, super bright thing on the left. Ah, if only I could zoom out a little bit more. There? That might be wallpaper worthy. Maybe. Beautiful, just beautiful. You can see the, the light shafts. The god rays around every individual particle there. Alright, so what do I need to do? Oh, whoa. Oh, I see. Alright, shines to another place, and then... Oops. Nope. Didn't want to do that one. No, no. This one. There we go.
I guess we're gonna go for a ride. I wonder if that was the incomplete memory cube of David Ree. She was saying... Someone was saying, I think, probably Madison, that they weren't sure if they had enough to upload him. And it looked like an incomplete cube. Is it time for the last one, the library? Yep. Time for the library. <laughs> 